Hi friends, it's Aubrey from Crybaby Sentimental Homestead and I am call, um, creating this video oh, out of frustration, probably, mostly out of frustration. So I was so excited to get to my box in the mail and I had ordered off of eBay of all places, which is not my favorite place to buy seeds, but I was looking for <laughs> my daughter's being weird. <laughs> You're so weird. Stop it. Okay. So, um, I was, I went on to eBay and I'm sorry, my kids are weird. <laughs> They're trying to distract me. All right. So I went on to eBay and I wanted to buy more magnolia seeds. I love magnolia trees. They have beautiful flowers. They have wonderful stories about being ancient and, um, how they developed they they actually evolved before bees existed so the flowers actually attract beetles really cool story i want to grow some more i've grown many in the past so i know what to expect i know how to grow them and i would submit that anybody who's selling seeds should know how those seeds should be kept in order to be able to sell them especially for selling them as expensive as they did so these are the seeds I received and I'll cover up the item number. Okay. Some of you, if you are familiar with Southern Magnolia, already can see what the issue is. So I'll give you a little bit of think time for a minute. There's an issue. Okay. So this is 500 seeds which I'm gonna trust them on that. I'm not gonna count them, but I'm gonna trust there's a lot of seeds in here. And they did get delivered to me very quickly. They were in a nice little box and they did include paper to keep it safe. Um, the problem is these are dead. And I know they're dead because I have grown them many times before. And I have planted seeds like this before they never germinated. When you're planting magnolia seeds, southern magnolia seeds, they have to be planted fresh. The description for these seeds said fresh on that on it. The word fresh is very specific to these kinds of seeds because you have to plant them while the fruit around the seeds is still wet. They can never be allowed to dry out. These are dry seeds they are dead i'm gonna guess most of them are dead and i will you know i'm gonna see what the person said to me i emailed them through ebay and i told them i said you know hey i've grown magnolia seeds many times your listing said that they were fresh seeds however they are not fresh seeds and i know that they're not because the fruit on them is dry dry seeds are not considered viable it is very likely that these will not germinate so I went back to the posting and I read through the information and I messed up because I didn't really care about the return policy because I'm not the kind of person who will return seeds unless, I mean, I'm, I've never had to return seeds. So um, if I made a mistake and, you know, and the plant didn't grow or whatever, and some plants take a long time to germinate, so you would, by the time their policy would be like a reasonable time frame for you to turn something it would make sense because it takes so long for them to germinate so basically by the time you would know whether or not they are worth returning it would probably be it would be too late anyway so i wasn't really concerned about that and i know there are a lot of people who try to scam sellers by saying it's not the seeds aren't good but these you can tell are dry there's no moist packet in here and I'm gonna take a seed out. Like, it's not even gummy. Like, this is one seed, This I don't even think this seed would be viable either way, because it's not, um, it doesn't look, it doesn't look good. But um, it's not even gummy on it still. I don't know. I'm gonna, if they say, you know, there, and then I went back to the policy and I went, oh no, it says no returns. So I'm like, well, I'm not asking for a return. Like, I don't want my money back. I want viable seeds. That's all I want. So I'm, I'm hoping 
that the seller just didn't know this particular plant. Maybe they're a gardener and they're like, oh, this has a seed pot. Let me collect the seeds and I'm gonna dry it like how I dry all my other seeds, but not realizing that drying out the seeds is actually killing them. So I'm hoping the person is gonna come back to me and say, okay, I will send you more seeds from the current seed pods that are dropping now because I will be happy with that even if I had to wait even if they said hey you know they're not quite falling off the trees yet I'll send them to you when they do I'd be willing to wait for that and I'm gonna see what they say um, but I think I might have messed up and bought from the wrong person because in the past I, I got lucky I thought it was the same person I had bought from before, but I hate that eBay deletes like your previous messages and um, your previous transactions and stuff from many years ago because sometimes I have a seller and it was probably from five, 10 years ago that I bought the seeds from them. And I planted a bunch of seeds. There was one person, I don't remember if they were like in Florida, I think it was the same area. And they sent me the fresh seeds with the fruit on it and everything. And with it, in description of how to plant it this box there's no planting instructions in here and I mean honestly as a gardener when I I mean I sold some like lavender and rosemary seeds maybe some onion seeds whatever like many years ago on eBay like for cheap like basically cover postage like um, that's kind of how I had how I kind of roll I just wanted like to get it out like my garden is now in this other person's garden like like to, I want to see my plants growing and I know how many seeds my plants produce and that I can't possibly as one person plant all of them and so um but I always like even with like lavender and rosemary and onion seeds like I would include instructions because I don't want my I don't want my seeds to die in their garden right because those are like the grandchildren's seeds from my plants. So I feel like I have some responsibility on not, it's not just like, oh, you bought some beads or you bought like something, you know, and you don't know how to use it. These seeds have life inside of them. And so when you're selling seeds, like baby chicks in the mail, like they can die. And then it's not just a matter of like replacing that seed. It's those all of those seeds would have been trees but now they're dead so um, I'm kind of mourn that like it makes me really sad that um, that something would be wasted like that it's like it didn't it didn't even nourish wildlife because I've seen a lot of things like I don't live where magnolias grow wild um, but I've seen that a lot of people have posted like about animals beating them to the seeds because they like to eat the seeds well, at least then it's part of the food chain, right? Because the birds and squirrels and stuff, they're actually getting nourishment from the fruit and the seeds or whatever part of their eat that they're eating. But when you dry your seeds and they were supposed to be fresh and somebody buys them and your return policy is says no returns and I went back to the, see I didn't need to read the inf information about how to grow them. and. I would have had a little red flag because it said may take six months to germinate and I mean technically yeah because you have to remove the flesh soak it overnight you can cold stratify it now I planted them at the wrong time of year before and they did sprout without being stratified I have to keep pausing because I keep hearing sirens um, so I have planted the seeds at the wrong time or without cold stratifying them long enough and they still sprouted or cold stratifying them longer than it's said to and they still sprouted. But when, cause it's kind of like their dormancy when they're cold, but they still have to be kept moist and clean while they're going through cold stratification. Cold stratification is a damp, cool, very cold environment like in the refrigerator like a crisper drawer of your refrigerator or what i would often do is put like a damp paper towel in a ziploc bag write the write the thing information on it with a sharpie and tape it to the inside of my refrigerator door that 
helps me not to lose track of it and we know that they're not gonna fall out because I use I use good tape whatever but I'm I'm so bummed because this is 500 trees that are ultimately dead like I the one of the sellers I bought from years ago and I don't know who it is like I said like eBay erases all that information um same state I'm pretty sure they're from Florida as well um and I thought oh this must be the same person because they're selling 500 Mac southern magnolia seeds and this, it says fresh on there the other person as I recall they were very specific they said you need to you're gonna have a fruit on, on, on here don't put it into like your dry seed bin you need to take you need to push on the seeds and it kind of bounces out um, I've had them like fling across the room because you push on the seed coating and it kind of slips out and then you take all those and your hands get really messy and mucky and then you put all the seeds in a cup of water and you can just compost the pulp and then um, cold stratify them or you can sometimes you can plant them right away and you know maybe the germination rate isn't as high but they can't be dry they just can't be dry um, so they do like to have a cold period it's kind of like the, the the trees know this is not the best time to start sprouting it's about to snow and be very cold so they kind of go into this like dormancy and then they will sprout when the weather warms up and um, I am I mean I spent 27 or 28 dollars on these on these right so I mean it was like 20 it was like twenty dollars nineteen ninety nine twenty dollars for the seeds and then plus the shipping handling whatever it was like twenty seven or twenty eight dollars it did not cost them that much to send I mean it doesn't say on here how much it was um it doesn't say how much they paid but I know it wasn't it wasn't as much as probably what they charged me for the shipping but I'm I'm frustrated because these are probably dead. If the person comes back and tells me, um, sorry, like no or not even sorry. Oh, well, it's no, all cells are final. That's it. No, I'm not going to try to remedy this. Then I'm going to leave them negative feedback. Um, I probably will say, I'm, I, I usually don't say anything negative, but anybody who is selling seeds should know if they're alive. And I mean, so like um, pawpaw seeds, and I think maybe black sapote, cherry moya. I think there's some seeds they have to be wet, they have to be kept damp and cool, otherwise they die on you. So if a person is selling those kinds of seeds and they mess up and send you dead dry seeds, then they should have, even if it's not returns. They should have a replacement policy or something, um, you know, even send me different kind of seeds that they, they have dried, but are going to sell Germany. If they don't refund me my money or give me a replacement, I'm going to leave them negative feedback. Um, and then I'll soak them and see if I can get a few of them to, to sprout. I will feel bad if I leave them negative feedback and they do sprout, but everything I've researched in the past and I have purchased dry seeds before before I knew better and planted them and they did not sprout and then I found that person who said oh yeah you have to have the fruit on it I asked intelligent questions I got intelligent answers um, I probably should have with it being this expensive I probably should have emailed the person beforehand and said specifically are these dry or wet seeds because I know people make that mistake. I've bought pawpaw seeds repeatedly and gotten dead seeds because they did not keep them damp and they did not keep them refrigerated. So uh, I think the, the first beginning gardeners are used to dry seeds and like expect things to be surviving and that in that state. But there are quite a few varieties of seeds that if they dry they die so that's important to know as a consumer and as a seller if a person's selling dried seeds they better know before they dry them that they're not actually 
killing them first. Um, it's like if you were to, like, you know, the um, garlic seed. So, like, if the garlic plant goes to um, flower and it goes to seed, you know, though that top part of the garlics, if you, if you don't plant those, like, all right away or put them in a damp, me damp, cool medium and keep them cool, they will rot or they'll dry out and die. It's like the top sets of walking onions, same thing. You have to plant them right away. They're not actually seeds, but it's kind of, kind of get the picture of it. It's like, if I'm going to give cuttings, I've bought, I've also bought cuttings before from eBay. Um, it depends on the seller. Um, but some people will actually send you dry sticks and it's like, this is not going to do anything. This is compost. Like you can actually snap it and it's dry on the inside. If someone sends you that and they should also let you know with the um, cuttings, which side is up. So what they usually do is they cut it an angle for the bottom because that gives you more surface area for roots and flat at the top. So you know which one, which end goes up or down. Also, they'll usually wrap damp paper towels around the bottom of the cuttings and the top part won't be completely covered or um, they might leave a note in there letting you know which way is up. If you buy cuttings and they're damp, but you don't know which way is up, you can look at the little, like the little nubs on the stem and then look at pictures online of how they, how they um, emerge, but usually they are pointing up. So when you see the, if it's pointing up, that's going to go up and the other part's going to go down. But usually they give you those kinds of things. And every once in a while, I used, I used to buy cuttings a lot. I don't do that anymore because I have so many plants. I don't need to, to usually buy them. But I would get some random seller. They're usually not cheaper. Um, so you think, oh yeah, they're charging what's reasonable. They're not like saying it's a penny, you know, and then um, whatever and you get them and you're like okay what is this um or maybe somebody figured it out they got they wrapped them up with a damp paper towel but they're still dried out because they're uh, dry before the person put the damp paper towel over them so look at their ratings this person's rating was like 97 something and that's really bad it's actually pretty terrible because most people give a positive rating even when they're not 100% happy um, because they'll say positive and then they'll say okay or it was fine um, even if they weren't exceedingly happy because you can get, turn around and give them negative feedback too so people usually only take the risk of writing negative feedback when they're afraid of it being reciprocated um, so there's that so I'm like 97% is really more like a 70% because um, because there's that reciprocal negative feedback going on. So I, I'm curious and I'll let you guys know what the seller says to me. Um, I might soak it overnight. Like if they say no, this is it, that I know that they're fresh enough or, or if they tell me that they've only been dried for a certain amount of time like a really short amount of time and maybe there's a chance that they're not completely dried out but like they're not light but they're they, they're very dry to the touch let me just check again I mean if I press my nail into it it does leave a little bit of an indent but um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but they did not, I mean, they did not do it the right way. So if they say, you know, half price, I won't write them negative feedback and I'll soak them and I'll see if I can plant them right now. Um, but like, I thought I could just, you know, soak them, put them in cold, cold stratification. It's like, and I could do a couple at a time, but with them being dry, I'd have to take plant all 500 of them like right now so the I saw the box and I was like yes they're here I'm gonna plant 500 magnolia trees and then I opened them I'm like are you kidding me 
If you're selling magnolia seeds, they should not be dried out. And if you're sending seeds that are supposed to be kept damp, you should have like a damp cloth in here at least. Um, they could be wrapped in a damp paper towel, something. And honestly, with a plant like that, the instructions online were very minimal. Like, it might say, I think it said like how deep to plant it, but it, and how much spacing or something, but it never said anything about keeping it damp or wet or how to remove the outside fruit. Because that red stuff that you see, that's actually a dried fruit that has to be removed. So you have to soak it overnight and then remove it. Um, so I mean like that alone tells me they don't care about their plants, that they don't care if a person is successful once the seeds have been exchanged for the money. All they care about is really the money. Um, the policy like that. But I could be wrong and I'll let you know. But I'm gonna go ahead and post this because honestly I want people to know like pawpaw trees, I know for sure. I think black sapote, I think cherry moya. Um, they're, I mean, check to see, um, they should have to be kept damp. Another thing is too, is if you buy seeds, like if you go on like, oh, I'm gonna buy all these seeds, and then you think, oh, I can plant them in April or May or June, and you don't look at them, sometimes they're damp in the box and they're rotting. So I'll tell you that happened to me when I was younger and more novice, like I bought true garlic seeds and they, I opened the bag and I was like, oh, that's, that stink is so bad. They basically, the little onion, um, they're like kind of like a top set. They basically had rotted in the bag. Um, another time was like, I bought some pawpaw seeds and, um, I, I struggle with pawpaw seeds in the beginning. So some sent them to me dry. And so I thought, oh, they're supposed to be dry. And then I bought some other ones and they sent them to me damp, but I didn't even bother opening them because I thought they were supposed to be dry. And so I didn't even look and then I opened it up the following April and like they're in a damp paper towel that's brown from it rotting. Um, and then another time I bought um, ice cream bean tree seeds. Luckily I opened them and they didn't die. Um, I opened them up and they were already sprouting. So like you might have seeds that are actually already growing when you receive them, depending on the variety of seeds. Now, if you're growing just like, uh, an annual garden, that's probably not the case, but if you're trying to grow perennials and trees, there are a lot of plants that have to be basically planted right away and you might be they might be sprouting in the mail on the way to you so be prepared don't like if you have 500 seeds and they were all sprouting in the bag that would be insane right um so be careful be an informed consumer i mean i'm not gonna die that i wasted like 27 dollars but um i'm frustrated and the other part of it is like, I'm not sure, I don't wanna get uh, scammed again and go to another person. And it's just like, honestly, if they would just give me the fruit, don't have me have to take the seeds out of it. I'll, I'll just take it the way it is. I know how to take care of them. Um, or also my husband works at a, um, one, of the, one of the properties where my husband works, there is a giant Southern Magnolia tree and it's co constantly dropping the fruit. And their instruction is just for him to dispose of them with a compost. So uh, I told him, I said, when those cones drop, when those fru fruits drop, I want you to gather them immediately and bring them home to me because um, I will plant them and or, or I'll have my students plant them. So it's like Arbor Day, Earth Day, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, they can all go home with a magnolia tree, which I've sent home in the past. And I have 150 students at a time. so. It's a pretty cool project, and we I really learn about different ways plants are pollinated and all that. So it's a really cool, a really cool experience. But it starts in the end of the summer, beginning of the fall, when those fresh seeds are available, and we do this whole stratification thing at school, and we put them in Ziploc bags and damp paper towels in the refrigerator for like 100 days or so um, until it's time 
when the warm weather is coming again. So I'm bummed that I wasted that money, you know, out of my own pocket. The school doesn't pay for that kind of stuff. So it's a, uh, it's frustrating. I hope they're going to do the right thing. If they don't, <laughs> I'm like, I, they're, they're going to have a rating of like 96, per, 96 now instead of 97. But, um, yeah. I, I like to give people a chance. I'm not if they if they remedy the situation. I'm not going to ding them on their um, on their feedback. But maybe this will be a learning experience for them. Maybe they don't know that they're not supposed to dry the seeds. I'm going to go with that because you know you could be a great great gardener or many other things and not realize this one particular plant that you're selling the seeds of. And maybe people have told them before this has a low germination rate. But then they're like, oh, they're lying because there's 500 seeds, and you know. But if they didn't know why that they aren't germinating, it has to do with drying the plant, drying the plant material. Then they might actually improve their ratings in the long run by not killing their seeds before they even sell them. So anyhow, all right, everybody. I'll see you on the next episode. God bless you. Live long and prosper. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment if you have any, um, you know, if you have any thoughts, you know, like, would you just, would you leave negative feedback? Like, I don't, I don't usually do that. I might leave neutral feedback. I'm not sure. Um, what would you do? Would you leave negative feedback after they don't fix the problem? Would you leave neutral feedback? Would you just not leave feedback? How would you respond? And what would you do with these seeds? Would you compost them or would you at least go through the, all the steps and see if any of them grow? Because I mean, for $27, if I got a few trees out of that, then it's not a complete waste. But um, I was really hoping to be able to give like every kid in my class and the, my partner's class, that's like 300 kids total. Like they'd have like, each kid would have a tree to bring home. So, um, how would you re re respond to a person's uh, no refund policy on seeds that they sent to you that were potentially dead? All right. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.